Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be covering the basics of test classes in PyTest. So in the first video of this series, we looked at the basics of writing and running tests, and specifically, we were looking at standalone test functions. So let's go ahead and open up our testfunctions.py, and we can see our four functions. Um, our two functions that we want to test, square and cube, and then our two test functions, test square and test cube. Now it's perfectly okay to have tests as standalone functions, but there are often times where it'd be nice or convenient if we could group our tests together with say the function that, that they rely upon and maybe some named data members. Um, so it'd be really convenient if we could group all these things together into something like a class. And this is exactly something we can do with test classes. So let's go ahead and quit out of here and go over to our next example, which will be this test classes.py. And we see a number of familiar faces here. We see our two functions that we want to test, square and cube. And then we see our two test functions, test square and test cube. The major difference being is that these two tests are now wrapped together inside of a single test class. And we're able to factor out this num is equal to five from both of our tests and both of our tests now just use self.num. Now, just like our files have to have a specific name for PyTest and our test functions have to have a specific name to separate them from normal Python functions, the same is true for our test classes. So um, our test classes have to be prefixed with the word test. If they're not prefixed with the word test, PyTest won't look at the members of this class for tests. So it wouldn't pick up test square or test cube if this class name wasn't prefixed with the word test. Um, okay, so you can see how you know this can be a very convenient feature if say these you know methods that we have within this class are all going to rely on the same kind of set of functions or name data members. Now, one important thing to note is that you know, test square and test cube will not be sharing the exact same piece of memory for num. So test square will get its own instance of this test class object and test cube will get its own instance of this test class object when uh, the tests are running. They're not gonna share the exact same piece of memory for num. And this is actually by design. We don't want our independent tests to be interacti interacting you know, underneath the hood like that. Um, we often wanna keep things you know, very separate when we're doing independent testing. Um, okay, so now that we see how we can kind of group tests together inside of a test class, let's go ahead and look at running these tests. Um, and before we run, we can go ahead and run just collection to see how our test hierarchy looks. So we can run pytest dash dash collect dash only, or we could omit the hyphen, it does exactly the same thing. And we can see our hierarchy of tests. So we collected both of our tests, test square and test cube, but now we have our module uh, testclasses.py, and within that module, we have our test class called test class. And then within that test class, of course, we have our two functions, test square and test cube. Now to run all of our tests, we can of course just invoke pytest as is. So you can see both of our tests get collected, both run and pass. We could provide a path to that file, and then we could also provide individual levels of that hierarchy. So we could say, you know, from within testclasses.py, I want to run all the tests that are part of test class. So if I have multiple test classes in my file, I could select just the tests from one of these test classes. So here it runs both the tests from test class. And likewise, I could go even further in that hierarchy and I could select just test cube from my test class within testclasses.py. And you can see it just collects that single test, test cube, from test classes.py that exists within the test class. Right? So I can do all the same kind of um, test execution as I could with the standalone test functions. But now I have a way of grouping together, say, data members, uh, test functions, and then the functions that those tests rely upon. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Um, as always, you can find um, all of this code on github.com slash coffee before arch. So if we go under repositories and we go to the PyTest repository, um, you can find all of these examples under source. 
Likewise, you can take a look at the PyTest guide that I have written, um, which are basically written examples of the things we've looked at today. So we even have uh, some a written section on test classes. And of course, I'll also link below the video the PyTest documentation from docs.pytest.org on grouping multiple tests into a class. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.